Hi everyone. There's a junction that's quite near me called Switch Island and it's where a couple of motorways join and other roads included as well. And it's quite complicated, it's a big multi-lane road. When it was rejuvenated a number of years back they added something to the lane markings that I just want to show you today. So any multi-lane junction, as we've seen on even a few of my driving fails, causes people many, many problems. And this is just an added safety measure, which I think is really, really good. <coughs> naughty, naughty. So people struggle with staying in the correct and appropriate lanes when they go through big major junctions like this. And this safety feature actually makes it really easy. Hopefully I'm going to be able to be quite near the front of the queue at the traffic lights so I can show you this. Now I'm just going to use this lane. I'm actually going to take my time because there's no one behind me. Hopefully we'll get caught at these lights. All right, we don't. Oh, we do. Brilliant. Perfect. But you probably noticed when we were coming up there of all the lights and they switch on and off dependent on the flow of the traffic. So because it was our turn originally, and our lights were on green, it highlighted all the lanes in my particular direction um, and now it switches them off while the traffic's going through side to side and I think this is absolutely brilliant. I'll have to wait a few moments for the lights to change. I think they're, they're going to go again. Again, more people jumping lights but have a little look at what goes on when we go. Is there anything like this near where you live because I think that's brilliant from the road planners I think that's exactly what big multi-lane junctions like that need let's go and have a look at it from a different direction so I'm going to be picking up the signs for Liverpool not Liverpool Airport, but uh, just Liverpool. And it's the A59. Hopefully, again, these lights will change so we can uh, have a little look at it further up. Perfect. So, as you can see, we've got um, lights a little touch further up, but they're for not all parts of the junction. Um, Let's have a little look to see what's going to go on when I go. But you can see them over the far side from the road from our right, heading round to the right. There you go, they've gone off, so someone else is uh, going to go from the other side. Again, I'm always wary of this junction because the amount of red light jumpers there are is untrue. <laughs> as you should with all lights. So this little section, there's three lanes. I'm in lane three and I should stay in lane three, but this is unfortunately where they could have done with a few more. Now there's a car to my instant left, so I've gone across to lane four. Yeah, and they're getting beeped as well. So unfortunately, that's the perfect situation where you don't put the lights in everywhere, especially at the points where it's uh, obviously needed. Notice the reaction as well, even with the left signal to move across to the left, because this car that was getting beeped and that was in the wrong, um, you hold back of them. I'm going to do exactly the same here. There's no way in the world I want to be anywhere near this one, 
is they're going round corners with where they came from and where they went to. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thanks a lot for watching and all your support. Hopefully that's useful. And let us know in the comments if, like I said earlier, if there's anything near you which does the same. Take care.